Good morning and welcome to the Rustic Hills Homestead. My name is Jeremy and I am the farmer here on the Rustic Hills Homestead. We are down here today by the barn and we're going to make sure that all the animals have... Oh look, they're coming over. They think I have their treats already. They're, we're going to make sure all the animals have enough food and water, do the morning chores and see over the course of the week while I've been at work what sort of havoc has been wrought that we are going to need to fix because that's life on a homestead especially when you're a homesteader with a full-time job so right now it looks like the horses have enough hay to get through probably the rest of the weekend I'll probably give them a new bale on Sunday but my ranch hen tells me that both the goats and the cows are going to need more hay so we can definitely take care of that today and let's see what else is going on down here So as you'll see behind me, the horses have chewed through another one of these 2 by 6s It was either Lady, my horse, or either Roxy or Dude. I'm going to guess Roxy because she tends to be the other most anxious horse besides Mickey. Um, and you will remember from the previous video that we fixed this problem with Mickey to some extent by putting in the metal flashing that you see on the tops of those two by sixes. You know what? I might be lying, I think they're two by eights. Yep, they're two by eights. So we put this metal flashing, let's see if I can get this on the video. And you see, it's got a little lip on it. So that's worked really well to make sure that she doesn't chew. Uh, now it looks like we're gonna have to do a similar thing throughout the rest of the barn to keep them from chewing. Mickey obviously thinks I already have the treats too. They're pretty conditioned to getting their treats at a certain time of day, so I better not make them wait any longer. By the way, I'm trying out a new GoPro accessory today while I'm filming to see if this gives better angles. We will see. Come here, Rox. Roxy, want a treat? Cookie? Dude, you want a cookie? Come on. Who wants a cookie? Dude wants a cookie. Dude's not a scaredy cat like Roxy is. Good boy. Good boy. Roxy, you want one? Roxy. You're going to make me come out there, aren't you? Okay. Next order of business is to make sure that our cat gets his treat. So he gets a little wet food and he's got some dry food to sustain him. So cats fed, horses got their treats. We'll come back and deal with that board in a minute. But first, I'm curious to see how many eggs we got and how the chickens are doing on food and water. I'm sure they'll need water. The cows, yep, they definitely need more hay. Cold front. I can smell the treats on my hands. I would really like some, but I didn't bring any more. Alright chickens, so yeah, they're going to need more water, they have a little left from yesterday, how's their food looking, eh, we could top that off a little, and let's see how many eggs we get today. So you'll see we've got a bunch of chickens in the nests. They could be actively laying, they could be trying to go broody on me. Going broody means that they think that they're going to sit on their eggs and hatch them out. We're not very big on that here because we like the eggs for us and to sell. 
trying to figure out how to hold this and do my job at the same time, not being very successful. So, they generally move. Sometimes they try and peck my hand. Another good reason to wear gloves. Two, four. Oop, almost dropped it. Six. Eight. How about you, Missy? See, she's trying to peck me. Ten. Oh, she's got a bunch in there. Twelve. I like to try and get them out because sometimes as I'm pulling the eggs out they'll try and peck and they'll peck the egg and that's no good. 16, 19, got a nice green one in there. Someone in here is an Easter egger. 19, 20. Alright. Six here, 22, 24, 26. And how many in the last one? Oh, it looks like somebody got an egg and broke it. 27, 28. So a total of 28 eggs, that's not too bad. I always check on the floor, sometimes somebody gets lazy or can't make it to the nesting box. Or they'll make a little makeshift nest on the floor. But nope. Alright. So we've got 28 eggs. And now we need to make sure their water and their food is full. We'll go put the eggs in the truck. I was lazy today and I drove the truck down because I've got some garbage in the bed I want to take down to the dumpster. And I actually need to do a couple projects on both trucks today. The bulbs on the headlights for the Chevy burnt out. I think it's because of the extreme changes in temperature we've had. I think it's hard on the filaments. And then the Dodge, I've been working on the tail light for a while. There's a loose wire that keep setting a signal in the cab so I've been getting the parts to replace that Let's see if we can get that done today cold front is enjoying a nose scratch okay all right so let's see I brought the head cam down go and feed the pigs real quick. I brought the head cam down. I don't know. I looked at the footage from the last couple of videos when I was wearing the head cam and I don't really care for it very much. I haven't seen a lot of comments one way or the other. Again, I invite you to leave comments. YouTube looks on that favorably, so that helps me out. And, you know, I, I really want to know what, what can I do to improve the quality of these videos um, so that they're something that people want to watch and, and learn from you know and I'm not saying that I, I know everything but I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube to learn how to do things and it's not that I always even do the thing the way that the guy in the YouTube video did it but I frequently get really good ideas that I sort of make my own so please feel free to comment um, maybe I'm doing something I could do better and I'm always willing to learn how to do that so and let me know if there's certain video aspects that I can improve hey sausage there you go. let's feed the sows you'll notice I have 
one of my breeding sows in with the boys. So hopefully in about four months, we'll get a, another litter of pigs. Let's see, how's our water doing? Pretty froze up, pretty froze up. We had a few days of some really cold weather and now today, supposedly it's gonna hit 40 degrees. I don't know if I believe it. And then this weekend supposed to be kind of 30s. And then the beginning of next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're gonna get snow and temperatures with a high of five. Hey, 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 hey. Snuck right back in under my feet. They don't go very far when they know where the food is. That ought to be enough. All right, we're gonna give this a try. So we've got a little extension for the head cam, so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little better, but it'll also give you a better field of vision. That's my hope. We'll see how it works. The only thing is, I have a feeling it's going to be a little bouncy when I walk. All right. For water we go. We got a couple. There's that one. It's kind of broke up, but it'll hold some. And then what they were just using for their feed, and that they've already finished. Let's go get our hose out and get everybody watered. There's a lot of commotion in that chicken coop. Okay. It's kind of funny, I'm trying to walk real still so that I'm not messing up the camera. And I'm sure it's not working very well. Who's that coughing? <laughs> Roxy. That's what you get, Rox, for eating wood. Probably not a great idea. You know what? I'm gonna start down by the goats today. And we'll work our way back. Oh, actually, their water's pretty darn full. So let's just get them fed. Hello, everyone. So as you can see, our hay feeder is holding up, doing pretty darn well. I'm pleased. Huh, Cappy? Yeah. Cookie, you look like you're fattening up. What do you think, little guy? All right. <sighs> Poor Cappy. I'm gonna have to move it. I know, Cappy. You can't get at it so well from there. There we go. All right. Now Cappy can reach. I've thought about putting two bales in at a time. And at some point, if I come up with a little bit of a better filter, I might do that. Either that or build a box along the bottom. But what I know about goats is they will dump a whole bunch of it on the ground and then never touch it. Once it hits the ground, they don't want it anymore. They want stuff that's higher up. Same thing if you just let them range. They'll go for all the tree leaves way before they go for the grass. Huh. 
Huh. So, eventually I might start putting two in at a time, but my fear about putting two bales in at a time right now is that they're gonna waste just more of it. Make sure the cats have water. should stay and then why don't we take care of this board not sure which one of you did it but I'm not too happy Has knocked your water over. Oh boy. Well, that's filling. We'll get a couple buckets to take over to the pigs and set them out. Good. And why don't we take a look at the cow's hay and see what our plan's gonna be. This one's a total mess. We're gonna have to clean this one out because they stomped it down in the mud and poop. One good thing is it's been so cold, the ground's a little harder. So it's not like walking in just so much mud. I know. I know. Check their water heater. They've been pulling it out every day. No, they left it in. That's good. They got mineral. Not that they ever use it. Well, actually, you know what? I think I'm lying. I think they've been looking at it. So that's good. All right, we better not let that horse trough overflow. Check on that. Oh, perfect timing. Look at that. Tell you what, you might not believe it, but you do get kind of a, a flow to understanding sort of how long things take and what tends to work better first and then second. All right, throw these up for the pigs. I would like a day with some decent weather to clean some of this up. Now, a lot of you probably think to yourself, and I've addressed this in other videos, what a bunch of junk, right? Well, you're not entirely wrong. It is a bunch of junk. Here on the homestead, when it seems like something is no longer serving a purpose, you don't necessarily throw it out. You know, it's not that I don't throw anything away. Obviously, I do. And some of this stuff does need to get chucked. But there's a lot of things that you can reuse, you know? I mean, especially if you find yourself in a position where, similar to what we're in, middle of winter, something goes wrong, you've got to come up with the fix 
town is 25 minutes away one way. Gas is expensive. Sometimes you just find something that you've already got that's sitting around in the junk pile and you take care of what it is. And that's happened multiple, multiple times here on the farm. That's why you see a lot of junk and I get it, it looks bad. And I do want to straighten it up this spring and make things a little bit more organized as far as you know, metal junk, wood junk, as if that's going to help much. Um, but frequently, you know, I could save a lot of money and time going to my junk pile for a, a quick fix for something until I have time to wrap my head around how I want to permanently fix it, if that's required, rather than just running to town every time you need something. And, and I'm sure a lot of you out there know, sometimes you can end up at the hardware store three times in a day when you're doing a project. So I certainly still have that issue with certain things. You know, when I'm starting a new project and it's a big one and I kind of have to get a lot of materials. But if there's just something that something goes awry, uh, one of the animals beat something up to the point where it gave out, frequently I can find something here that will at least get me by until the next time I had to go to town anyway. You know, like if I have to go to work and I'm already in town, I can pick something up on the way home. But on the weekends, I don't want to have to go back into town again. So it works out pretty well. All right, now let's get these chickens fed and watered. All righty, guys. Start here. This camera is getting a good angle with this extension I put on it. Go up front, what are you doing? Stop being a bully. Everybody's hiding in there. What's going on in there? You guys nervous? You got water, you got food. Heard a lot of noise in here. Is there more eggs? Yeah, one more. Two more. That makes what, 30? Didn't we have 28 before? Okay. Yeah. I wonder how slanted you guys have been. I just looked in the window of the truck and realized that this uh, camera was kind of listing off to one side quite a bit. Hopefully I fixed it. There is, in the uh, kit I have, there's a thing that I can strap to my chest to hold the camera. Maybe I'll try that next time. I'm not a big fan of strapping a vest on to film, but for you guys I'll do it if it means we get a better quality image. Yeah, is that good? Good hay? Are up for him. Oh. Mickey, you got plenty over there for now, and I'm going to get a new bail, so I'm not too worried about you. Okay. Now we just need to go and water the pigs, go warm up the tractor, and bring a bale down for these cows.
out the buckets and the forks and grab a bale of hay for the cows. Then we'll have to go put the cows away so that they can't come out and get all in our way while we're trying to change their bale. Like I said, please uh, put in the comments your thoughts about the videos, anything that you would like to see or not like to see as much of. And uh, I'll take that to heart and see if I can make even better content for uh, you, the viewer, because you are a blessing to our homestead and I appreciate you coming and watching uh, our everyday life on the rest of Hills Homestead.
made it work. But uh, yeah, we've got our bail. We're gonna take it down and uh, put it in the hay net. Swap out the hay for the cow. The goats are enjoying their new bail. I know you want something. I hear ya. Alright. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. 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 Bets, come on. Bets. Well, worst case scenario, Betsy walks around for a minute and then decides she wants to come to where the hay is anyhow. Hey, Soch. Hey, Soch. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Where can I set you guys where you might get a pretty good view?
Oh boy, so that was fun. In the middle of doing that, I lost a pin off the back implement on the tractor, which is the discs that I use to weigh the back end down when I'm dealing with these heavier bales. So I couldn't really back up and I had to go and get the pin and try and salvage it. Luckily it was really just the cotter pin that bent. So yeah, I made it for a little extra excitement. But you can see the cows are very happy now. Mickey's very happy now. They got fresh hay. We're gonna move this back in so they can't knock it over and get it more disgusting than it already is. Go. All right. So that about does it for chores today. Just gotta go put some things away. <laughs> that young bull, you gotta watch him. I'm just gonna go through. Oh, and it is getting warmer because the frozen poop is becoming more like mud. So I got this done just in time before it really got bad. All right, so with that, I'm gonna head back up. I'm gonna switch out the bale spears for the bucket first, then I'm gonna put the tractor away. Then I'm gonna do some just mundane tasks. I gotta swap out some headlights. I'm not gonna take you along for that. Nobody wants to see me work on a truck. If you do, put it in the comments. And then uh, over the rest of the weekend, I'm gonna try and get some more projects done, some real project projects like that board and barn. And uh, we'll have you come along for that. So that'll be a separate video. So anyway, with that, I'm gonna leave you today. And again, you are a huge blessing to our homestead. So I wanna thank you all very much for subscribing and liking the videos, getting active in the comment section and following us along as we go through everyday normal life on the Rustic Hills homestead. Thank you, bye-bye.